हेलो फ्रेंड्स अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरी वन दिस इज शेखर सो इन कंटिन्यूशन विद माई प्रीवियस सेशन अबाउट परमिशन इन लाइन एक्स सो वी आर गोइंग टू कम्प्लीट दिस सेशन सो प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैड डिस्कस अबाउट सिंपल परमिशन हाउ टू सेट अ परमिशन एंड हाउ टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट ऑल द परमिशन ऑफ ए फाइल और डायरेक्ट्री इन दिस सेशन इन दिस टूटोरियल we are going to discuss about special permissions like set uid set guid sticky bit set official so all these things we are going to discuss in this session so let me log in to a system or server and i can show you how to set uid and what is set uid what is the use of set uid why we are using set uid so all those things we are going to discuss in this session so let's start so first of all we we need to understand what is set uid basically set uid you can say a program is executed with the files owner permissions rather than with the permission of the users who execute it let me make it more simplify i'm i'm taking an example when a user when a simple user who changes his password so what happen in background when a user changes his password so what happens in background there is a file etc shadow okay everyone is aware that this file keeps the encrypted path, password information right so whenever a user changes his password obviously this file should be edited because he has changed his password any user okay so whenever a user logging to a system and he changes his password so what will happen this particular file will be edited and they will store a new password but see the permission of this file this file doesn't have any permission then how come a user changes his password that's a question okay just because of the set uid the set uid is set on the command that is password command okay let's see where is set uid where is password file okay this is the password file okay how a user changes his password simple passwd and root ya yeah, whatever whatever the username say for example my user is amit okay so amit is going to change his password okay this way the amit can change his password so as soon as amit will change his password what will happen it will edit the etc pass password file but if you will see the particular password file shadow file doesn't have any permission so how come it possible reason being the password file this password command is having a permission called set uid this s okay so it means whenever a user uses this password file to change his password so he takes the permission of root okay the set uid is set here at root at users so here the user is root okay and root is having permission read write and executable okay if it is small as it means that file is having read write executable permission for user root okay if it is capital s it means the root is having only read write permission but here it is small s it means the user root is having read write and executable permission amit has changed his password amit user so what will happen amit will use this command passwd 
which is having a set UID. So, and this set UID is set at user ID at this location. This is for user and this is for group. Okay, so there are two things. First is set UID and second thing is set GUID. But here set UID is set at user end. So that's why it is called set UID. So now you can see here Amit has used passwd command to change his password. But Amit doesn't have any permission to change this shadow file. But he has used his passwd wd command which is having set uid so it will give his own permission okay so he will give his own permission read write and executable as a root to the amit user to change his password so root can do anything on this shadow file so that's why a user can change his password it's a, it's an interview question it's an interview question so keep in mind okay so the next thing is set GUID. Set GUID basically it's the effective group of an executing program is the file owner group. Set UID and group UID both are same thing. Okay. Instead of set UID is set on at user's location, in set GUID it will be set here. So whenever a user, you know, whenever a user use a file which is having set GUID so whatever the permission is at group the particular user will get that permission and there is no difference between set UID apart from that okay so this is very simple if you will ask anybody what is set UID so you can give a this example okay uh, there is one more thing where we have the set UID ping command let's see the ping command yeah ping command also because any user can ping okay so there are a lot of files we have the set UID but you know if you will try to do practical if you will try to do some practical in your system or laptop in your server so for higher version like 6 or 7 the particular set UID has been you know prohibited because even I have checked on many servers I have created my own set UID and will try to use set UID permissions but it won't allow me just for the security purpose they have you know prohibited to use set UID for other users okay so this is about set UID and G uh, set GUID okay the next thing how to set this uh, so it's very simple I'm going into temp directory I'm creating any file touch say for my file is Linux and the permission of this file is Linux I want to set a set UID ch mode for this uh, 777 whatever Linux you can see set UID has been set. Suppose if I have given two, then this uh, GUID will be set. Okay. So in that case, you will get read write executable permission of group group is root ok so how to set special permission so this is simple command so let's discuss something about the sticky bit that's enough for this ok sticky bit uh, it always set on slash tem directory ok that's a directory so we have to use this to get a permission of directory okay you can see at the last there is t t denotes sticky bit 
so sticky bit is has been set on slash stem okay what is sticky bit you know i'm just explaining this with an example instead of giving a theoretical session on that suppose there are two users one user is amit and another user is amit okay if you see the permission of tam it's full permission the directory is having full permission any user can logging any user can you know go to slash tam directory and create his own file okay suppose there are two users amit and manish they have just logged into the server and they go to slash tam directory and they have created files few files has been created by amit and few files has been created by manish as we can see this particular directory is full permission say for example there is no stucky bit on slash tam so what will happen amit's file can be you know deleted by manish and manish files can be deleted by amit's although you have set only read permission although you have set only no permission on the file but other user can able to you know view and edit your file and they can delete their file because in directory there is a full permission okay in the directory there is full permission so whosoever will create his files that can be you know edited and deleted by other users so to avoid such things we have put sticky bit so what will happen if we we'll, if we we'll put the sticky bit on a directory which is having full permission so in that case amit's file cannot be deleted by manish file and manish file cannot be deleted or edited by amit's so so this is called as sticky bit although we have full permission on the directory but if the directory has been set by sticky bit the users they can save their files any users can go to slash temp temp is temp temporary directory any user can go there and they can save their temporary files but just to make it secure nobody can delete it nobody can change it they have set sticky bit on that only root user can delete the file amit's files can only deleted by root user only okay so how to set the sticky bit sticky bit is set by ch mode and say for example i have one more directory in temp i'm i'm kdir test 45 okay ls help ldr this is the directory so i have to put d okay suppose i want to put a sticky bit on this directory t whatever the permission suppose full permission i am giving it's for full permission only now in test directory you can see sticky bit has been created okay so test 45 anyone can travel to this directory and they can save their files amit can save their file manish can save their file any user can go there and save their file and other users can only see their file they cannot edit or delete their files so this is simple is to keep it okay okay let's discuss about set official okay let me clear okay set official this is called access control list okay so you know sometimes you know we want to give a permission to any specific user to a file or directory okay then we use access control list okay suppose i am in this 
temp directory slash temp okay i have created any file touch one two three file ls hyphen ltr now you can see this file is having root user and group is also root i want to give a permission to a specific user okay any user i want to give say for example let's see oracle i want to give access to oracle so what how to do that set facl hyphen m user oracle and whatever the permission i want to give a read permission 1 2 3 see plus sign this is interview question if there is a file and if you will see plus sign in that file so what does it denote it denotes a huh? access control list has been set on this file okay so how to see what the permission on this file so there is a command get facl and the file name 1 2 3 now you can see this user is having read write completely the user is root is having read write permission okay and oracle user is having read permission because we have given only read permission here to the file 1 2 3 1 2 3 is a file and group is having r permission mask is r and others is r so like this way we can set suppose i want to give a read and write permission to this file now you can see the permission of oracle has been read write so basically access control list is to provide a permission to a specific user to a specific group okay instead of you know user if i want to give group then i have to give group g here and this let me clear it i have a group unix admin okay simple so now you can see i have given a permission unix admin rw read write to this group okay apart from the simple permission user group i have given some ad additional permission we can say it's a special permission so i think that's enough for this session so we have discussed set uid we have discussed set guid sticky bit and this access control list so guys i hope you have enjoyed this session and you have learned something thanks thanks for your time okay keep watch my videos and please subscribe and like in youtube thanks